Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is going to be a reading for Taurus today. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message crosses your path, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, I have a bit of a cold today, so I apologize. I hope I don't have a coughing fit in the middle of your reading. <clears throat> um, so as I begin shuffling here today, Taurus, I'll let you know the, um, the messages that were coming in before I hit record. Just really brief uh, messages that went by so quick I almost didn't grasp what they were. But the message was something like to um, that you're being encouraged to take a risk. Even though you might not know exactly what you're doing or where it's leading you um, to just jump in anyway. It's like you don't have to know the big picture. You just need to know the next step that you need to take. Like one step at a time. Um, also the message of not to give up. So if you've, um, taken risks in the past or, you know, in the recent past and they haven't worked out the way you anticipated, not to let that stop you from what is before you right now. Um, to, you know, don't hesitate, move towards it. The seven of earth is your opening card, Taurus. Um, I think this is, this is you seeing this, this opportunity that I think there's, a, there's a new opportunity or a new idea coming into your awareness. That's really, uh, that's really lighting you up, like really creatively opening. You're getting a lot of creative inspiration from it. And I think it's almost like it's, there's a sense that it's um, kind of coming out of left field. It's kind of coming from indirectly into your awareness in a way. It's almost like it's snuck up on you. Seven of fire and the nine of water. Or sorry, the five of fire and the nine of water. <clears throat> and the messenger of air. seems like you know she's she seems to be this she seems to be this energy coming in this five of fire it's like there's somebody coming into your experience that is wow the queen of earth <clears throat> there's somebody coming into your experience kind of from left field like you didn't see them coming but once they're they're in your line of sight, they're completely opening up your creative faculties, inspiring new creative ideas in you. Um, you know, being the five of fire, they're they're a very creative and fiery individual, and I think um, just seeing them, you know, sometimes you know, she's you're you're inspired by her. She's inspiring your creativity. Because she's very creative. She's a very creative person. He or she, you know, the genders can go either way. You just swap it around for however works for you. But um, this person, this new person in your life is so deeply uh, creative and tapped into that flow that just knowing them, just observing them and their creativity is, is really opening it up for you. <clears throat> and the nine of water... It's like, um, yeah, it's like, it's like, this is you observing this energy, this new energy coming in. It's, it's completely endearing to you. It's showing you it's, it's like you want what they have. You want, it's like their energy is contagious. You want to be, you know, they light up the room. They, um, they light up everyone around them. They spark inspiration in everybody that they meet. And you, you know, want to be near it. You want to be near that person and near their energy. And you want to be able to tap into that, that ability that they have. The messenger of air and the queen of earth. This one I often see as, um, 
you know, somebody receiving like inspiration, something whispering in your ear. It's like you're, um, you're tuning into the, the secrets of the magic of that this person holds. Temptation card. I often think of this card as um, being overly melodramatic. It's like this person is so um, so in their strength that they're the queen of earth. It's like they're the queen of earth where they're really they're really sure of who they are. They're very embodied, um, if you know what I mean. It's like it's like their full um, expression is fully embodied. They're more present than a lot of people. <clears throat> So the effect that that has is that it's like the second that they're in your realm and you're in your environment, it makes a lot of what's going on or what has been going on seem really melodramatic and uh, like just not worth your time anymore. It's like she's elevating you to a more evolved way of relating and experiencing life. You know, she's very creative. She's very um, tapped into spirit. She receives communication from spirit. She's fully embodied. And it's like the second you see her, you know that, that you want that too. You want full embodiment. You want connection to spirit. You don't want this anymore. This, <clears throat> you know, this energy that just drains you, like sucks the life out of you, sucks all the magic out of, out of your experience. You don't want that anymore. You want to tap into what she's doing. The three of fire. It's like, it's like she's come into your orbit um, just to call you out of of your current circumstances is like she's here to, to pick you up to get you to bring you out on on the magical mystery tour with her it's like she's only passing through town um, and you know you have to quickly decide whether or not this is like ties back into the message before it's like you have to quickly decide whether you're gonna jump on and go with her if you're gonna jump on the bandwagon and join the circus with her. Are you going to take that risk or are you going to be more conservative and think it through? If you stop to think it through, it might not be available much longer. So it's like you, it's like the message before the reading. It's like, you don't really have time to, um, to sort it out in a reasoning way and to, you know, checks and balances and such. It's like, you got to just jump. You want this opportunity and you know if this person is having this effect on you if she's lighting you up in this way and she's she's blowing your mind in a sense like your your mind is blown by by the way that she um just her presence like i said her embodiment she's very present it's like she has more of her full essence embodied in her physical form so um you feel it when she walks into a room, you feel it and it affects everybody. So, you know, if she's having that kind of an effect on you and she's saying, come with me, you should go is what I, that's what I would do. I would definitely go. She's inviting you to go with her and you clearly want to. You know, it's like she's this, she's this like this magical fairy that's just kind of plopped down in your, in your experience. But it's like, she's not going to stay. She's going to, she's going to be off again very quickly. 
Because the thing is, it's like you don't have to, you don't have to know whether or not you're going to, um, you know, this is your life partner and you're going to be together forever from this moment forward in order to go with them. Because that might not be what it is. It could just be that she's leading you to the next big thing. She could be leading you to somebody else or she could be leading you to a new opportunity or just a new way of, you know, a new life. She doesn't have to be the thing. She could just be like the Pied Piper that's calling you towards it. So you don't have to have it all figured out. That's the point. All you have to know is the next step. And the next step is to get in her car and go with her. It doesn't even really matter where she's going. You just want to be next to her energy because you know how when you're with somebody... When you spend time around somebody, especially somebody very um, power within their energy is very powerful and focused and potent, you know, it's going to affect you. You're going to start, um, your energy is going to, their energy is going to rub off on you and you're going to start, you know, picking up more of their signature and it's going to become more a part of who you are. All right. Is there anything else here for Taurus? I want this person to come into my life. The five of water. I think the five of water today in this context is meaning um, completely letting go, going with the flow. No resistance. There's no, absolutely no resistance in her body. She's completely loose and, and going with the flow, allowing the current to take her. So like I said, it's very much um, tying into the message before before I sat down of just taking a risk, not know, not having to know where it's taking you, but just going anyway and not letting past risks, the outcome of past risks, affect your ability to jump at this one. Just to completely let go. Okay, is there anything else for Taurus? Are we going to get a glimpse of where they're going? Or I have a feeling that's not going to be shown because I think that the whole message is that you have to just trust it. Queen of Fire. Queen of Fire. Like I said, I think that... I think that... I'm going to leave it here with the Hierophant um, as, the, as the closing card. I think that this um, this five of fire, like I said, she might not be the thing. She might not be the one. I think she's like leading you to the real deal. Like, you, you know, she's just like a worker bee and she's taking you to the queen bee if you follow her. But the thing is, it's like if you want to get to the to the good stuff, um, what it takes is is trusting and following your intuition and taking um, risk without without overthinking. Um, you know, and I'm not saying that you should just jump into any crazy thing that presents itself to you, but you're going to know in your gut. Like, you know, when this person comes into your awareness at a left field, uh, you know, instantly you feel it in your in your gut that if this is something you want to move towards and that's all that you need to know, just that. If something lights you up and it, it gives you that feeling in your gut of, yes, I want that. Yes, I'm going to move towards that. There, that's what the lesson is here. Don't second guess it. Move in that direction because this is just the beginning of the, of the trail. It's just the breadcrumbs leading to, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and brighter and brighter. And, you know, closing with the Hierophant, not only is it leading you towards whatever this queen of fire is, either, uh, you know, massive creative inspiration, new projects, you know, a person who's, you know, fully embodied as a creative and passionate um, person, you know, could potentially be a new relationship for you. But what it's, what it, you know, in the bigger, grander scheme of things, what it's leading you towards is your full embodiment. Like I was saying here, this person is fully embodied with as the queen of earth. She is a, a much larger part of her full being is embodied in her physical 
vessel and that's what's so attractive about her and part of how she got there was by following this trusting the instinct trusting the intuition so if you do that i mean this could be you really these energies are you if you follow her lead and how to move forward in your life um, in that way, instead of in a reasoning, logical, planned, calculated, you know, um, having to know the end goal and then working, you know, almost working your way backwards from the goal and trying to get your way to it. She's teaching you a new way of moving through life that's completely instinctual, intuitive, and it's leading you into full embodiment of these energies. Um, so what an amazing reading, Taurus, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.